And you have people in China that are really engaged in a noble effort uh, to protest, which is basically Leninist rule. So what is Apple doing with that? They are limiting the airdrop function of the protesters. So they are serving basically as a vassal to the Chinese Communist Party. Then on the other hand, here in the United States, what are they doing? They are trying to get Elon Musk Twitter off the App Store potentially, which would be a huge blow for free speech. Why are none of the celebrities talking about that? Why are none of the celebrities talking about what China is? Now, there's new ownership. It's alleged in America that we have the ability as a private company to do as we please. But if your private company is ran by somebody that they deem somebody that need to be watched, i.e. you're not agreeing with us, so you need to be watching. So if you don't agree with a certain side, now the rules and the freedoms and the democracy and the things that you're supposed to have they're no longer afforded to you and you're supposed to be exiled and pushed into a corner and made to be broke now let's see because if they do this after what's going on this morning y'all you know i woke up this morning i was listening to kwame brown he did a live early this morning like real early this morning and he was talking about free speech he was talking about apple Twitter, Ron DeSantis, and he was listening to Fox News, Tucker Carlson. First of all, a judge already stated that Tucker Carlson isn't to be, be believed. He's an opinionated person. He had an opinionated show on Fox News. And people have tried to sue him for some of the things he has said. And the judge has said, you can't believe him. No reasonable person would believe anything that comes out of Tucker Carlson's mouth. That's what a judge said. But for some strange reason, he is the type of person that Kwame Brown follows, which says a lot for Kwame Brown. Now, he was talking about free speech, and he was bringing up Ron DeSantis and how good of a job he was doing in Florida, and he's doing the right thing. Well, when you talk about free speech, Ron DeSantis is the wrong person to bring up. And the reason why, because Ron DeSantis is the same person who tried to punish Disney for going against one of his policies. Now, is that free speech? Is that really supporting free speech when a company disagree with you in one of your policies and you decide to punish them because of it? That That is not supporting free speech. Not only that, Ron DeSantis is the same governor who's banning books. Just because he don't like the books, he bans a book. Is that free speech? Now, Kwame Brown is actually listening to Ron DeSantis and what Ron DeSantis have to say about Twitter and Apple. Saying that Apple is trying to shut down Twitter in its free speech because of Elon Musk. Well, my thing is, it's not about free speech. It's about reckless behavior. That's why people have issues with Elon Musk. You have to understand, there was a company. Now, when he did away with the check system, as in try to get people authenticated through the check system, he did away with that. By doing away with that, he was trying to sell the blue check mark to anybody. If you had $8, you can buy a blue check, which caused issues. Because you had companies being um, cloned, and people were thinking that those are, was, was the real companies, and people was making decisions based off what was said from those accounts. And I forget the company, the one company, but their stocks dropped because someone cloned that company with a blue check and made statements and remarks on Twitter and it cost the company money. It cost people, shareholders money. That's the problem people have with Elon Musk and Twitter. It's not about free speech. So Kwame, my thing to you is, before you make these shows talking about free speech, Please do your homework. Please understand what's really going on around you. Ron DeSantis is not a person who advocate really for free speech because Ron DeSantis have made decisions in the state of Florida that went against free speech. And like I said, Disney is one of those things. When you punish a company because they disagree with your policies, that's shutting down free speech. When you sit here and ban books that you do not like, that's shutting down free speech. So when y'all talk about free speech, Make sure you get it right. 
Because Ron DeSantis is the last person who should be talking about someone trying to shut someone up. Because that's what he does in Florida. He tries to shut people up when they go against his policies. And Kwame Brown, like I said, you need to do your homework before you open your mouth and listen to the people you listen to. And I don't understand how people can listen to you knowing you're putting out bogus information. Knowing you're listening to someone that the, a judge has said is not credible with his information. But those are the people you are listening to. Those are the people you or exposing your followers to false information. Bottom line.